Nigerian youth are frustrated, Obasanjo said. Ask Buhari to speak. The only of Ife, Oba Adi Ogunwisi, or Jaja, too, on Monday, hosted former President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo with an appeal to the NSAS protesters across the country to retreat. Oni, while receiving Obasanjo at his Ile Odua Palace, Ile Ife, described the NSAS protest as a clear message by the Nigerian youth to the government, particularly on the coordinated manner in which the protests are being organized both in Nigeria and beyond. He urged the youth to allow the government to fully attend to their demands. If you look at the NSAS protest, you will see that our youth have what it takes to rule the country. Since they won, they have shown leadership accountability and a huge sense of responsibility, which have sent a clear message to the government. Every day at 11.50 p.m., they displayed their financial updates and to me, I am highly amazed with their sense of accountability. As a youth leader myself, I am proud that we all have communicated our ideas and it is heartwarming that we have been heard. Dear youth, it is time to retreat so as to prevent those with ulterior motive from hijacking the peaceful message of peace. The whole world is aware of our peaceful conduct and we must not let some bad elements tarnish this enviable integrity. Once again, I wish to urge our youth to stop the protest for now and give peace a chance. This will prevent the government from using force, the royal father said. On the recent attack on Governor Boyega Oyetola's convoy by some hoodlums at the venue of the NSAS protest in Oshobo, the only described the incidents as unfortunate. It is sad and also sad and we cannot but condemn it as it is against the ethos of Omoluabi, for which we are known in Osho. Similarly, I want to commend Mr. Governor for the maturity which he has displayed in the handling of this sensitive issue, notwithstanding the provocation. It shows him as a father that he is May God continue to protect him, the only said. Speaking earlier, a passenger described the NSAS protest as the product of an extensive agitation by the Nigerian youth that needed to be attended to by the government. More than 65% of our population are under between the age of 18 and 30. They are not only struggling to acquire education, they are also aspiring for the best that life can offer them. Some of them didn't even get educated, while those who are educated are getting frustrated because of lack of opportunities. We must realize that the lead on the boiling steam would have to be removed. But I believe that there are windows of opportunity which the government can explore to show that it cares about the people's welfare, especially the youth, as the father of the country and particularly as the father of the youth. Fortunately, the president has children and he knows how youths behave. I believe that the opportunities can still be taken to let the youth know that he, as a father, understands their plight and that his government understands their plight and he is ready to make life better for them.
or passenger said. Thank you for listening to this news. Um, first and foremost, let me first of all advise the president to withdraw, the, the former president or passenger to withdraw that statement of the youths are frustrated. The youths are not frustrated and they can never be frustrated. They are only, they are only expressing their plight. You understand? The youths are very, very okay. They want this error to come to an end because to them it's an error. It is an error and it, it, it needs to come to pass. So the youths are not frustrated. Then number two, I will still want to commend Obasanjo. Appreciate him for his fatherly intervention. He didn't start well in his speech, but along the line, he started speaking well and he landed well. So I want to appreciate him for you know speaking up and um, calling the president Mohamed Buhari to order. You know, making him to see reason why the plight of the youths should be heeded. You understand? So, um, the president, Lucia Gopasenjo, has spoken well anyway. And um, with his voice and the voice of the only, actually rang a good bell to the hearing of the youths. You no, know, that is if only um, if only President Mohamed Buhari will listen to their advice. There is something that really touched me from that statement. They said that Buhari should know that he has children. And as a father, he should be able to understand the plight of his children. So the youths are children. So he should be able to understand them when they behave in some ways. You understand? So that is one thing as a moral value should understand. What thinking of redeploying or deploying um, soldiers on the youth? You should, be, you should know that whatsoever it does to the youth, that it does to his children. She has to know. That's what he do, he did to it, it does to the children. So he should think before he leaves. He should think before he takes any decision. So that it will not backfire him. Just like Femi Falano has advised him not to do. Femi Falano has advised him that he must not allow uh, he must not allow the uh, the, 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 the the soldiers to take that decision of um, of uh, firing at the youth if if he, if he will not want, if he doesn't want to face the uh, the ICC, the International Criminal Court, which I know will not be very okay at all for the president. So the president should take notice and take conscious of the message from Obasanjo, right? And do as he has instructed is to pay him a very good pay. You understand? So, um, my viewers, um, with all that I've just been said by our passenger, what is your take? Please, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.